right, so we're in the Griffin's house at night in Chris's room. Chris sits at his desk in front of several open textbooks. Peter stands next to him. All right, Chris, now you got a lot riding on this history exam tomorrow. I know. Sam Cooke didn't know much about history, and he got shot in a hotel wearing nothing but a sports coat and a shoe. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's hilarious, Chris, but we got to buckle down. Now, I'm going to help you study by nailing your door shut, and that way you'll have no choice but to hit the books. Peter exits and closes the door. We hear several beats of nailing. Then a cell phone on Chris's desk lights up, and we hear a text notification. Aw, oh, crap. I left my phone in there. The door rattles. Damn it, it's nailed shut. Chris looks over at the phone. Yeah, it looks like some girl sent you a picture of her privates. Aw, oh, crap. Lois! Lois, I don't have the phone! Stop sending pictures! I already sent four more! <laughs> Peter begins to wildly strike through the door with an axe as the phone continues to buzz and chime. Chris, put, that, put down the phone. Do not look at the phone. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's... That's both her hands. Who... Who the hell is taking the picture? Peter finally chops through the door with the axe, raises the phone, and grabs it. All right, give me that phone and get back to work. And before you judge your mother, you did most of that damage. Next week, it's funny because next it's Peter, Peter's daughter from season five. We are in a rundown house. Stewie is there, wearing blue jeans, work boots, a light blue button-down shirt with the sleeves rolled up, and a yellow hard hat. Brian stands by a hole in the wall, also wearing a hard hat. All right, Brian, I'm going to go up to the upper level and run this wire down through the wall. Now grab your walkie, and I'll call you when I get there. All right. Stewie exits. Brian, pick up. Over. What? Brian, Brian please say over when you finish talking. Over. What? Over. Do you see the wire yet? Over. No. No. What? Over. No. Over. Okay, I'm gonna start feeding it through, over. Wait, if you haven't started feeding it, why'd you ask me if I could see it? Didn't copy that, over. <laughs> I said, why did you ask me if I could see it if you haven't started feeding it? Over. Oh, that's better, I can hear you now, over. You see it yet, over. <laughs> you know, you're a jackass. For the record, I don't want to hang out with you anymore when this is over. When this is what, Brian? Over. <laughs> I said, I don't want to hang out with you anymore when this is over. When this is what? You gotta finish your sentence, over. <laughs> That's it, my sentence is over. Your sentence is what, Brian? Over. <laughs> my sentence, wait a minute, I have to say over even if the sentence ends with the word over? Ends with the word what, Brian? Over. <laughs> oh, I see the wire. You see the wire what? Over. Brian grabs it and tugs hard. Over! Stewie crashes to the lower level with a screen still holding the other end of the wire. <laughs> All right. Mike, yeah? yeah. Okay, yeah. all right. So this, uh, this last scene that we're going to read is from season eight, from an episode called And I'm Joyce Kinney. And we start in the Griffin's house at night. In the living room, the family, minus Lois, is watching TV. Lois enters from upstairs, dressed to go out. Hiya, lame asses. Whoa, 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 whoa. We've had a nice day. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just painfully aware that I'm the only member of this family who's going out for drinks with a celebrity tonight. Well, what are you talking about? Joyce Kinney invited me out for drinks, so just order a pizza or something, okay? I'll see you guys later. Lois exits. Man, I hate calling that pizza place. They don't speak English and they always mess up the order. It's like trying to get my cell phone number to the housekeeper. We cut away to the Pawtucket Patriot Brewery. Peter's at his desk speaking loudly and deliberately into the phone. We see Consuela on a split screen in the Griffin's house. Okay, now I'm expecting a very important delivery at the house, so could you please call me if it arrives? I'll give you my cell number. Okay, yes, no problem. Uh, give me number. Okay, 401-555-1125. 401. Four. <laughs> Peter waits expectingly for her to continue. Four, zero. Four, four, zero. <laughs> no, 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 no I, no, I was just repeating the four, one, four. One, four. <laughs> all right, all right, let's start over. Four, zero, one. Four, zero, zero, one. One, four, zero, one. Yes. Okay, five, five, five. Five, five, five. That was painless. Okay, one, one, two, five. One, one, two, five. There you go, you got it. One, five, five. <laughs> You say one, one, two fives. One, five, five. <laughs> no, 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 not one, one, and two fives. Two ones. Two, 
one, 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 two, five. Oh my God. Okay. How many one? No, no, I'm, I'm not, I'm not giving you quantities of the numbers. I'm giving you the numbers. One, one, two, five. Those are the last four numbers. Oh. One. One, one. One, one. Two. Two. Five. five. Oh, I see. One, one, two, five. Yes, yes. One, one, two, five. All right, now read the number back to me. Oh, uh, let me get my pen. <laughs> <laughs>